guys now uh, we are having our data which is already filled in spss and i want to make judgment let me say i want to run either a parametric or a parametric test but i cannot do this minus interpreting my data to know whether it is normally distributed or not normally distributed and how will i know it means i have to explore my data so here on this we are having what we call analyze so you come to analyze you click there it's going to bring very, a list of very many reports everything so you come to descriptives you come to descriptive statistics then you come and select explorer because we want to explore our data so it's going to bring something like this now here my values are already selected but let me first move them and i show you how it will be so this is how it's going to be so we are having the dependent list and the factor list so what i'm going to fill here in the factor list it is the site now the dependent list i'm going to fill all these the dependent list i'm going to fill all the parameters which we are varying in the sites and here i'm having statistics i if this is not selected descriptive you select it then you say continue then you come to plots in plots we are interested in normality plots now because i usually use my spss that's why most of them are highlighted so you select normality plots so you say continue so here we are having displayed so it's asking whether it should display also statistics or the plots so i'm selecting both so you then say click ok so it's going to run as it is computing as you can see here and it's going to display very many tables and clusters so here if you look here so i'm having i'm having test of normality i'm having descriptive so it's showing me site a is showing me the mean as 95 confidence interval so everything they are even the standard error here it's here so what i'm interested in it is the test of normality so looking at this table this is the test of normality so at this in this table i can see here there is kolmogorov simanov i have the statistic degree of freedom and i have also the sig or the sig i can call it the p value so you can see that ph in site a and b there is 0.2 which is above 0.05 so it means ph is now normally distributed so i can use a parametric test to analyze ph so let's look at electrical conductivity so electrical conductivity in site 8 is 0.02 and 0.123 so all of them are above 0.05 so it means my data is normally distributed so i can decide to export this test of normality and i take it to excel maybe i want to include it in appendices of my appendix of my report i can just right click it and i say copy so when you say copy when you click copy then you just you can select here and take it to you can take it to excel so let me say i come here to the start button and i select excel excel yeah it's right here i click on excel so it's going to export because i cannot do my much more things much more editing from spsa so i need to use excel to help me to put the lines that to design a nice table which can look attractive in my report so yeah and here we are so i can just press ctrl v and i paste it there so it's already here so here i can make any other judgment about the report so back to our spss so we're here and the output so i can see that my data we said is normally distributed so you can go back to analyze now you want remember we want to compare means so here we have means one sample t test independent sample t test paired sample one way and over so in the next series i'm going to show you which test are we going to run and why are we running that test and how to run that test and how to interpret that test thank you